What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to continue our series on extrude tools and look at the next tool on the list, which is Extrude Edges by Loft. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give you a start to finish training in SketchUp. In the course we start off by talking about fundamentals and we work our way into more complex things like modeling for interiors and creating plans in layout. Out. If that's something you're interested in, you want to take your SketchUp modeling to the next level, make sure you check that out at thesketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I will link to the rest of the extrusion tools tutorials that I've been creating in this series in the notes down below so that they're easy to find. For this tool, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the idea of lofting a shape. It means you're creating a 3D surface from different shapes. So in its simplest form, if we had two shapes like this one, um, two different curves, if we were to activate extrude edges by loft and extrude tools, we could click here to select our first curve, click here to select our second curve, and then hit the enter key. It would ask us how many segments we wanted to create in our section. And once we hit OK, what this would do is this would create a face between those two curves. So, and then it would have the same options that the other tools and extrude tools have, where we can um, reverse the faces, we can make these quad faces, and it'll ask if we want to erase our original two curves, which I'm going to say no. But you can see how what this does is this takes this curve and this curve, and this generates a face between them. And so you can use this tool for creating curves across multiple different shapes. So for example, if I wanted to create a face across all of these different curves, I would just select Extrude Edges by Loft, and then I would just click on my different curves. And so what this does is this allows you to really quick, quickly create faces using different shapes. So let's say, for example, that you had a series of um, curves like this. So first of all, let's note that this does have to be on a curve. So for example, and um, it needs to be an uninterrupted curve. So you're going to end up using the extension weld a lot. Um, so let's say, for example, that I had four curves in here and that I had drawn an arc along this one. So you can see how right now this line is considered three different edges by SketchUp and therefore by extrude tools. And so what that means is if I was to come in here and try to loft across these different edges, this last one wouldn't work in quite the right way because these edges haven't been uh, welded onto this. So what you would do is you would use the extension weld to, to take all three of these edges and you would weld them into one interrupted line. So that's one concept you need to be fairly familiar with when using extrude tools. Now I can come in and I can select each one of these because I've welded the curves to the lines for each one, and I can just create a face across them. So you can see how this can be good for creating surfaces or other things like that as well. So you could also use this to create faces across different kinds of curves. So for example, this is a simple one. You could probably use extrude edges by vector if you wanted to for this one. You can see how you can create a face across these really easily. Well, you could also do this where this edge has been scaled up. So you would just do the same thing, extrude edges by loft, click here, and then click here and hit the enter key. I'm going to hit OK, reverse my faces, and say yes for quad faces. So you can see how this allows you to create this shape that, that grows outward and forward as it goes. So same kind of thing over here, where if you have a pair of curves like this, and this was a pair of half circles that I drew out and then welded together. But you can select these, and you can create a face across them, just like this. And I will note that this works a little bit better when your curves have the same number of segments in them. So like for example, both of these have 24 edges in them. So this can do the math creating these faces really easily. However, if I was to do the same thing over here, so if I was to draw an arc like this, and I was to weld these two edges together. So if I did the same thing up above, But this curve only had 24 segments in it. So this one has 36, this one has 24. You're gonna get some slightly um, odd results in this case. It's not gonna work quite as well. So if I try to do this, for example, and I set this to 36 
edges, it's going to come in here and create a face, but it's going to have to do some like interpolating math. And when it does that, you can see how you start getting some twist in here because it's trying to kind of uh, interpolate what this face should be. So try to have the same number of segments in both lines in order to get consistent results. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Are you using extrude tools? Have these tutorials been helpful to you? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Guys.